Hey everybody and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Today we are back here in our Nordic village which was so fun to work on in the last episode. I had a fantastic time building that one so I hope y'all did enjoy that. If you missed it be sure to go check it out. We built this entire thing, terraformed the area out below it, and did all this in a whole custom cave way to get our th ourselves through that project or through the mountain up there to all that other stuff going on. But anyways, thank you so very much for the support on that one. It was absolutely awesome. Today, we are going to be working on the castle again because we are going to be working on the interior. I would love to spend some time doing some interior decorating, filling out the inside of this castle because a lot of you always ask me for ideas on things to do. So I think it's going to be a great walkthrough episode here to be able to chat about all those things together. And in the meantime, I have been working in between the episodes on building up all of these trees over here. Every single one in this area is brand new. Tried doing my first aspen tree that's fallen over on side. Don't really like when the fences are laying like this, but I don't really have another option. So we're gonna be going with that. And it's just kind of everything, the terrain. I figured this is a little patch between all the roads and everything. So I was like, I'm just gonna fully finish this out. And just look at this point right here. I love all of the path blocks with the snow, a few oak leaves being in here, some random little leafy bits with our small ferns and our grass bits and the stones and all that stuff. I feel like this area just comes to alive, comes alive so much with all this detail in it. I absolutely love it. But let's take a quick look from the sky for all those who have missed it. This area is really, really starting to take shape with our castle up here. Just check that out. That is so fantastic. I think I've built enough of this stuff out here at least. I've redone our roadway so it actually goes back correctly around this area. And I don't want to fill up too much of this space quite down here yet because I actually do want to build a few more houses, which we're going to be doing in the next episode. I'm going to try and finish up all of this stuff in that time and we'll do some more detail work around that stuff as well. But anyways, coming into the castle, let me grab a few just placeholder blocks so we can talk about how we're going to lay this out. So for me personally, I like to use dirt as a way of laying out the interior structures of these places to give you all a reminder of what we have. We basically have this large room in here comes into this even more larger room in here, which we're going to have kind of the grand hall area. I think I might have to remove this stone or maybe we can cut the throne back into the stone right in there. So the Viking king or Nordic king, whatever we're going with here, can be sitting on top of a stone throne, which I think could be pretty cool. And then we have these little rooms over here, which can be like bedrooms and storage and all that stuff and also access to the upper floor because I definitely want to put a second floor in here because we have such a large space like going upwards. It would really be a waste if we just kind of used it all for that. We've got a lot of little towers in here as well. So we got a lot of different spaces we can work with. The one that's actually been finished up is I did this little storage roomy area in here and then our cave system, which if you didn't catch last episode we have a cave that you can follow throughout the entire area and it spits you out on top of the mountain behind us so you can kind of get some ground access up there i thought it was a creative way to do it instead of just making another pathway so anyways we come in here and we're gonna have that throne right here i think we're gonna have some like fireplaces like braziers of sorts over on these sides maybe we do it all the way to the side does that give us that gives us an even width in the middle which a throne being even is actually probably easier to make and then down here, I was thinking, I uh, do we want to do we want to close this off? Like if we close that off into a doorway itself. We don't have a whole lot of space in here, unfortunately. So I was thinking we could start going down. Uh, if we start just moving ourselves down this way, you'll see that it opens up a bit, and we have this entire basement area. So I wanted to use a lot of this basement area down here for like our kitchen, our cellars. A lot of those places so i was thinking back in here would be a great way to have like a staircase leading ourselves down and maybe this is just like we have a small little table of sorts like right in here just somewhere for some people to chat over and they can just have something on display we can have some big paintings on the sides or maybe like some an elk head or something some animal heads and we also have this doorway right here which needs to go with somewhere so we could just simply bring it in back here and I think we could like just do a staircase staircase and then that could get you up to here and then we wouldn't really have a door but I think that would be okay and then this tower over here is pretty skinny so I think we might just have to use it as another scare staircase to get down then we have a lot more space down there but coming up to the top of this one you'll see that we don't have too much space up here besides it just being a lookout area it's just kind of somewhere for the royal folk to look out over this entire place but we could use this as a way to get back into that second floor so if we open this up right here 
that's actually pr uh, we might want to go one block taller so maybe we can actually open it up right through here and then that does open us through the roof but that should be good for getting ourselves out this high off the ground yeah that's actually not bad and then we can kind of just put a floor across this entire thing and that should be pretty good then we could do like the king's bedroom or the leader's bedroom up on this level which will be pretty good and then these ones over here can just be more ways of getting to different floors some more storage maybe we can have like the falconer or somebody who would be used like the wizard or somebody could be living in like the magistrate or whatever we want to call them they could have that top floor for themselves and maybe this is an area where they do some research or communing with the stars or whatever it might be but that's my general ramble of a plan there it's time to get some building on i spent some time getting the ceilings in and so we can have a little bit more floor area up above us and i decided to make that room over there also lead into here so that's gonna be very very tight in that area but if it's only a walkway getting ourselves over they don't need too much space and what are we gonna fill the rest of this with so i decided to put a floor in there gives us a heck of a lot more space on the second floor and the way we get up to you here right now is just simply through here and then you have all of this above you as well we could maybe even throw another third one in here at least as like a partial overhang maybe off of like right here or something so you can like walk up into it and you can have some writer or something up there but anyways i remember that we're trying to have all of the heat going out this top area so i cut open the floor and we have this one also another thing is i decided to mess around with the enchanting glint texture for us so you can see it right here going throughout instead of having the traditional bright blue there everything was i had a red one and I felt like, I don't know why I had red. So I decided to change it to orange and mix it up a little bit more so it looks more like it's kind of like a growing thing. And I think it's pretty cool. It looks like a level up animation from like a retro RPG and I kind of like it. So let me know what all you think about that one. I'll get that one up here. I'm gonna mess around with it for a while and see if I even like it. Like beyond just kind of what it is today. I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful for it, but I don't, I'm not committed to it yet, I guess we could say uh there's i already have on my hot bar but anyways we're coming through here right now we're gonna be building up this thing a little bit and i wanted to use just some stone brick as our way of getting some stairs out here and we probably need to get rid of you and do a full block right here and then we can use just some um, probably something like this to get ourselves a back to it i know it's very very basic but i'm just trying to think of a simple way that we can make this structure look more interesting as being a throne and you can really tell that it's a chair in here instead of just looking like some stone that was cut out because i want it to make it look like they manicured this as much as they can or the, the people came through and edited it and worked on it as much as they possibly could to make it fit for a king and so maybe we could do something like, like that that looks like a bit of a throne to me i did not bring can we go you I didn't bring any uh my stone cutter on me so we had to craft that thing up right there but we do have a few i don't have any uh, i was looking for some stone brick slabs i want to try these what if we try with those guys right in there that kind of helps it but if we try instead of those if we just try some regular stone that i kind of like that more because i think if we get these as little braziers so there's some fire coming off of them and if there's fire coming off of it we definitely don't want it sitting right next to wood so i think we need to rearrange where those are and move them to being right here and right here because that kind of makes a little bit more sense for some of the heat being able to get up through that way so i think that should be pretty good and we can have just some carpet leading from at like a little bit of an angle here so you can kind of know where you're walking maybe we can try and make it look like a big <laughs> giant bear rug i did see somebody on the reddit a while ago used a bunch of black carpet and kind of stretched it out like you'd see a bear rug and put one of the ender dragon heads on the end of it it looked absolutely hilarious and great at the same time so kind of thinking about doing that here like this guy somehow killed an ender dragon because it would go with all of the dragon heads everywhere around here so maybe i'll mess around with that we might need to run out to the end to grab one no i definitely have some in papyrus and let's see how many ender dragon heads we have we have at least one right here we got 36 that explains all of these shulker boxes <laughs> or shulker shells that are going to be crafted into boxes here soon oh my gosh we got a lot of it let's just bring one with us and i grabbed our black carpet from upstairs and i'm gonna detail out that main entry hall area and it should be pretty cool the inside is looking much much better at this point the whole base floor is pretty much done as far as that great hall room and i can't wait to show it to everybody i my inventory is just an absolute mess just the random things that we've been using throughout here we've got a bunch of black carpet and black wool down here with our lovely dragon head i think that's hilarious 
Is it probably the most accurate thing we could do? Probably not, but I like it. I mixed up the floor here with, so it's not only cobblestone, but I added some andesite in here as well. Over here, we just got some iron swords that are being displayed. I think it's pretty cool. And then threw in a bunch of our banners. I forgot about those when we were actually building the castle. So I added a few on the outside as well. Then I've started bringing in these heads here that make it look like an elk head of sorts. So you go with the old elk's point name and everything. So it's just dark oak stair with dark oak fence gates on the side. And you could kind of, if you wanted to, you could probably do some more added on top of those. And it would look even larger, like a bigger antler rack type thing. And then I added a painting over here. I want to change up that painting to something else probably. And the throne, I decided to really, really bury it inside of the mountain here so we just got this light gray glazed terracotta or just gray glazed terracotta and then i gave it a brick back to it so i filled in a lot of these open spaces with just some brick back here because i felt like it gave a cool bit of a color highlight in the darker side and i didn't want to just include wood throughout there again so you can only really see it like at the point right up there you can see like a half slab of it and a little bit on that side too but i'm thinking about making the side where we have the mountain especially down below i plan to use a lot more brick came down here finished this area out we got another one of those heads and then just some plants in the corners to help bring some more greenery in here got some little flowers up there on top of it and these guys i decided to bring in a dead coral tube coral thing here and then some birch to kind of contrast our dark oak that we have and i've been working on our staircase to get ourselves down here i'm gonna i don't really know what i want to do for the rooms down here so i was thinking i was probably would just destroy all of this stuff and just leave it open here i know we have the big old like feast hall area so i'm thinking instead of this castle we probably are just gonna include like a small kitchen so that they can eat while they're in the area but if they're like wanting to go eat with the people or eat with everybody else they have to walk all the way down to the feast hall I think it's going to be much better if we just go with that style to keep it easy moving forwards. And I think that'll be a lot easier as far as the build that we're doing here. It saves us having to create a giant feast hall. And it is that time of the video, my friends. If you are enjoying what you're seeing here, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Anyways, this build right here, I forgot to put snow on the roof. So I've been working on the exterior a little bit here adding a bunch of snow onto the top of this you know to make it look more like this is a winter wonderland than anything else and i have still yet to do the tower right here this one hasn't been finished up that's kind of next on my list of things to do and this is what we have up here we just got a little map area with some stuff and some christmas chests going on because you know day after christmas right now finally awaking from a food coma and uh getting some work done <laughs> But we have this area, it's pretty open, it's pretty basic. I've been wanting to play with adding more color into builds. So we have some smooth red sandstone over here. I think that's pretty sweet. Got a bunch of plants. We got a little seating area back here. So if you want like a private seating area where people aren't gonna look at you, you can kind of hide behind these trap doors. I know they're still more or less see-through, but it's fine. Then in here we have the Lord's residence being a double bed. It's very small, we weren't able to do much more. Then they have their own heating system being a little smoker right down here. That's just a little chimney that's going to stick out to the top. Then we got some storage area in here. We've got some barrels and things for uh, apparently that's they put all their clothing in barrels. And we've got like this nice little hanging bit with an iron bar and a brown thing hanging right down there. Then this diamond block over here is supposed to be a mirror. I thought that was kind of a cool way to uh, showcase that like this might be where they're getting ready. It shows a bunch of wealth and all that cool stuff. But anyways, the next thing I want to tackle with you all here is coming down stairs. First and foremost, let's see if we can just get down here real fast. I think that's going to lead us down into this spot. It is perfect. So we need to remember that this is going to be a staircase right here where these are coming through. And I want to talk a little bit more about planning this area out. Let me clear it out of some more and then we can get going. Down on the basement floor now, I brought in the staircase over here as well. So we have two entrances now and just brought in some stone brick and stone around it. This one takes you all the way to, to the top of that front tower if you want to go all the way up there. And then I smoothed out a lot of the rest of this area, extended it out back this way. One cool thing that we have is that even though we have the mountain blocking it off, since this area is very much carved down into the ground, we can extend it as far out that way as we really want to. One thing I did want to note, though, is that inside of the basements, it's kind of hard to figure out what we want to do down here without really setting up a good plan for ourselves so i wanted to talk a little bit about the plan that i have for this area and kind of different rooms that i want to make sure i'm including down in this vicinity and the plan for that is i want to include some kitchen of sorts down here i know we're underground i know it's kind of hard for to get that smoke out of here 
But I think we can have a cool chimney kind of snaking up the back of the castle and make sense of that one somehow. Uh, we'll figure out how to do that. So this room right here is going to be a kitchen for our cooks. Then on top of that, we do need as well something to go along with our kitchen is we need to have a pantry. So I'm thinking we'll have a general wide hallway right here. I'm actually thinking that it might be better to have this one being too wide. So we can have something right here. And then back in this area, we can have a cool pantry, something or another that can be a little bit more of like an odd shaped building. Cause this right here, this outside stone face that you're seeing, that is leading directly to the outside. So we want to make sure that we're kind of staying a little bit in from that vicinity right there or that type of shape. So we don't want to follow that. And I like going with more of a squared shapes or interiors, especially when we're in a cave system, trying to make it look more manicured and something that would be more suitable for a castle of sorts. So we're going to be doing this right here. This is probably going to be our pantry area. We could include like a small sectioned area back here. That would be for like the cold goods storage, you know, because it's very warm out here. And then on top of that, I do want to include a sort of a washroom somewhere where they can do laundry because, you know, that's probably pretty important. So I was thinking we could have the washroom right here. And then I also on top of that want to include a storage room of sorts because, you know, storage is probably something that they would have inside of a castle. In times of need, they're probably going to be needing to use a storage system to keep things, you know, stored. Uh, so back here, we can have a big storage pantry area, something back in here just for the general goods that doesn't include like the food things. So this might be weapon storage. It might be who knows what it could be, whatever the heck they want. Maybe party planning supplies or uh, maybe the Nordic people here really love to plan their parties. And then this can just be kind of like a general open area right here. Maybe there'll be a guard who's stationed in this spot that kind of takes care of making sure nobody is down here. And then extending out behind the guards area, I want to add in a jail. I think adding in a few like jail prison cells back there, just two or three of them, just so they can hold some people overnight if need be or something along those lines. It's been four hours since the last time we spoke. And I've tried recording a few times. Every single time, I forgot to unmute my audio. And, you know, it's a great post-Christmas half-food coma day. But anyways, I finished off everything. It's all done, so let's take a tour. Coming in here through the front door, it's not too different at this point. Everything in here is the same. I did finish up the entire basement area, though, and I absolutely love it down here. We have the cold room storage house right here, where if you take campfires like this... And then you can throw a, you can put all your food on it like you'd be cooking it and then use a splash, splash potion of water or splash water bottle, throw it on top of it and it'll make it like this. And it's great. It's such an easy way to get all your food to be displayed like that. Then of course, being the Nordic people, we got a bunch of ale back here. Then back in this area, we have some cold room with a bunch more meats and things like that back in those spots. Got some food cabinets. We have some sand and stuff over here that making it look like grain almost got some storage in here brought over a few of those beehives because i think they look like cool storage areas and then we have the kitchen in here as well which i think this one is super sweet i like the size of it i love the size of this right here this fireplace is absolutely massive and i did bring a chimney all the way to the top i really like our first pantry room that we're in because it feels so warm with having the red floor and then the bricks in the ceiling there it makes it feel much much warmer and then this one feels a little bit colder but so I started adding in the green dark prismarine block up into the top and I think it helped even it out a little bit instead of just feeling cold and stone covered. And then this area right here, I think this might actually, that's spawnable. Do I? I don't have any torches on me. I'm going to have to come down here and fix it. But anyways, the hallway goes down here. This leads us over to the other staircase to get yourself back up there. And then we have the laundry room in here with a bunch of white banners around where they might be doing laundry, some clothing. We got some looms back here. We got just some big buckets of water using some rails. If you do a rail here and then a rail on top, then break the one on top. That'll stay right at that angle. And it's kind of like a washboard type thing. The best we can do in Minecraft, at least. And then just random chests. Then the guard room in here is just pretty sweet. I like this one a lot. It's very basic. I wanted to keep it open because they might need to bring prisoners in and out of these areas. And then we come back in here. This whole area is meant to be pretty dark. So sorry about that. Uh, but this is all mob spawn proof besides down there. I'm trying to see if I can get some mobs to spawn in there. And then if I notice them and name tag them like this guy right back here. I don't have a name quite for him yet. And I've been trying to get him to not despawn. So I haven't quite left the area right now. And I'm probably not going to be for the next little while. So he should hopefully stay here. But if anybody has ideas for names on those, be sure to let me know on that one. Then we have a very small torture room over on the side. What's a castle without a torture room? We got some hammers and mallets and things that you can break some people's bones i guess 
Wow, that sounds really pleasant. Uh, and then this here would be like tie them up there and there, and then we got a little bit of a blood stain using our redstone bits. And that's that whole section back in that side. I really like it. I think it came out just fantastic. And then the storage room in here, I decided to split it up. So we have our general storage over here. And we have a little bit of a treasury due to a lot of comments saying that we needed a treasury inside this one. So thank you all so much for the support on the last castle video. I hope you all enjoyed the interior one today. But that's the entire basement. I know we're running pretty low on time on this one. It's been a lot of touring type cuts of here. But let's go check out the tower. That is now finished as well. Coming up here and is this the main floor? Nope. Main floor is right here. We come into the base of the tower. This is a little bit of a guard room. So we have four beds for some guards over here. It's looking pretty fancy, just some storage stuff around the side of it. Maybe a table where they can play a card game or something. Then you come up here, and this could be the rest of the guard storage of where they might be storing some of their weapons and things like that. I kind of ran out of the time on this one. I really want to make sure, so I just kind of filled it with a bunch of junk. If anybody has a better idea of what we can do in this room, please let me know. Then we have above the guardhouse, there's a little bit of like a kid's room of sorts. I know it probably wouldn't make too much sense to have the kids of the royal folk living here underneath like or right above the guards might not be the best situation and then a storage room above them as well and then above that up here we have kind of like the wizarding area of the of the tower i guess and it's just kind of stuff all over i brought one of my conduits in here just to have a floating object in here which i thought was pretty cool and then I know we're flying through these ones here. We've got a brewing stand and I have Ender up here. Not really sure what it's doing. I was going for like a grandfather clock and I was like, no, clocks are boring. Let's do, let's make it a little bit more interesting here. And then this spot up here is just kind of a ritual site. We got some nether wart growing in the back. And then this lovely thing with perfect timing for the sun setting right now. Definitely did not plan that at all. But I think everybody, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. We've been trekking away at this one we got the entire interior of the castle done and it's looking absolutely fantastic i do hope y'all enjoyed this one I do hope y'all are enjoying the castle stuff let me know what y'all want to be seeing next i do want to finish out this area right here but i announced this on stream a little while ago that the next project we are going to be moving towards inside of this area after we finish up our nordic mountain village not including this entire forested area but I want to move into a tropical build of sorts. I have no idea what it is. I really want to play with stained glass fog effects. I think that could be super sweet. But if anybody has ideas on what we can do for any builds of that sorts coming here in the near future, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, thank you all again so much for the support. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. And I will catch you on the flip side.